Hello everyone, Paul here. Uh, welcome. Uh, any newcomers, um, certainly would appreciate it if you do subscribe. I uh, do put up regular videos uh, most weeks at the moment, sometimes two or three. Um, well, this week has been a bit of a busy week actually. Uh, I spent probably a couple of lunch times at work pulling pallets to pieces, and the reason for that was basically I bought this this week. It's a Titan planer stroke shapener and never ever dreamt that I'd ever own one of these. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Basically I have been pulling pieces of pallet to pieces as rough as that and they have come up pretty well. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can find another piece here. Oh, I've got some gluing at the minute. Still not perfect but this is all part of my next main project that I'm working on and it's come up fairly well. Also, I really did come up with a couple of gems from pallets as well. Uh, one of the guys at work pointed out uh, what he thought was a, a pretty good pallet and it took me literally probably 40 minutes. It wasn't very big, I don't know, probably a metre square and it probably took me most of the lunch time to pull to pieces because it was that hard and I don't know what it is. Uh, if anybody has any ideas, would most appreciate it. That is as hard as anything I've come across. When it went through the planer, it was making a right racket. I mean, that is not a co-op machine in the first place, which is why I've got the ear defenders. I spent a couple of hours out here one evening, uh, we were running, because it was so noisy, when the, the timber was short enough, workshop door shut, and I tell you what, my ears were, well, ringing for a couple of hours afterwards, so I soon found the ear defenders for the, for the following session, and a lot, lot better. But that, again, those pieces, as you'll probably see here on the back, all start with the next project that I'm trying to do. So it's actually been quite busy there, so because of that, I hadn't actually planned on doing it much this weekend. So today, I thought, I came out, I mean, I was out fairly early, needed to, to raise the grinder up a little bit because the jig and everything was just, just too I put on the, the, the chisels too high on the on the wheel. And I thought I really really want to turn something. So and the other thing I found as well on a pallet at work was these little bits. Again, I don't know whether anybody well you can see look it's that hard that the nails just stayed in. And I've got six of those. Not very big, so I mean that's only what about What's that? That's 75, 85mm long, 75mm wide, so which is roughly, where is it, 3 inches. 3 inches long and about 3 inches wide and there's 6 of those. So today I thought, right, well, just stick one on the lathe, see what it's like, and back to the old ways. Had to go a bit of a mushroom, still got the nail holes in it, and it's a little bit flat. But I produced that, and in actual fact, I think with the nail holes in the top there, I mean the nail holes are in the top there, and there's also about three holes in the bottom there, come up really, really well. And there's this really, really grey patch, I don't know whether, the, I mean, I hope the video just shows that, but if, if not, hopefully the photos will. There's this really, really grey patch in the middle there, and I've given that two coats of sanding cedar, and this time I used three coats of bry wax dark oak, just to try and darken up a bit. And I did have the, there you go, that's what was on there. So I mean, you can see the gray bit right in the middle there. And it's just really weird, never seen anything like it before. So again, anybody got any thoughts on what that is, most appreciated. So done that fairly quickly. Um, been trying to, one of the things I've not been able to use so far is the bowl gouge. Never had any success with it whatsoever. Didn't seem to get a very good cut, and I think it was Martin Saban Smith's sharpening video this week I watched, and I thought, right, I'll have another go. So I basically got the jig out, um, stuck it on the on the thingy, and it's not brilliant. Uh, and actually, fact, I've still got a, I've got still got a bit of a chunk out of there. I don't know whether the video will, the camera will actually focus on that. 
any thoughts from anybody on that most appreciated um, but what I did I then went back to this and I had a piece there literally like that nice straight piece and again that is 75mm wide so it's again three inches wide fairly straight slight curve to it and what I did on there, I produced this. And I'll tell you what, I never ever thought I'd do anything like it. Of all the people's videos I've watched in the past, with the, the bark on the edge, I often thought, well, why keep it on? But this one I thought I'd have a go, and I deliberately tried to keep the top on of actually put it slightly off centre so to make sure that some of the bark stayed on because I didn't want the whole bark on and it is a little bit wide where there's no bark on the side but I've actually gone down to probably about two three mil on the bark side and I think with this being softwood uh, any thinner and it would have just been too too little and the person that I will say and I'll give them a shout out the person who uh, inspired me to do that sorry I've got to look at the iPad because my pronunciation will probably not be brilliant, will be Yuval Lahav. Now, I've actually just started watching his channel during the last uh, couple of weeks, and as always, when I've got somebody that I find fascinating, I always start at their oldest videos and work the way through. The only video I did skip was about his barbecue, but everything else I've actually watched through. And just literally earlier this week, I watched him do one of these, and it was absolutely brilliant to watch. Fortunately I'm not copying them in some ways because I'm not having them fly off the lathe but I think he's got that down to an art now. And But yeah I absolutely love that. I mean that's down to 400 grit. Uh, I've given it two coats of sanding sealer and two coats of wood wax 22 and that has come up absolutely brilliant. There's There might be the slightest bit of tear out inside on the top uh, but again, as I was saying, with the bowl gauge, and it was absolutely brilliant. When I was actually going across the stem here, uh, just taking some layers off, for the first time ever, I was actually getting long streams of, um, of the coming off off of the tool, which is the first time ever ha I've had anything like that. So, I still manage. I mean, I th somebody commented, I think, on one of my previous videos that my scooches or <laughs> scooches or skills were coming along. And I think I still had about two or three catches with that. Yes, for when you're rounding off, uh, I'm fairly confident with it now, but I've still got to work on, on the shaping and trying to get your little fine cut straight edges on the sides there. But thoroughly enjoyed today. Really, really has been worthwhile. And, and thank you very much. I mean, Mike with all of his goblets, Yuval uh, for the real inspiration into doing this one though. Uh, really, really much appreciate it. And even in the bottom, um, and considering that is supposedly a, a softwood, uh, it's actually quite good. Uh, really, really pleased with it. Uh, so, yes, uh, as you'll probably see, like I say, I've got bits being in clamps again. I'm gluing up more of these again. I think uh, I've done three, three pieces already. There's another three pieces I'll put in there this evening, so they'll get swapped over tomorrow night. Uh, got some more of the hardwood ones, so that'll be interesting to see there how the mixture of hardwood and softwood turns together, uh, how easy it is. I really haven't got a clue. And I've got a few other pieces that I'm going to hopefully add in. Uh, I think, as you'll, you'll probably see, as you, if, if you've been watching my videos all the way through, that each every now and then um, I will try and put something easy in. Like obviously the mushrooms really just sort of just really messing around on the lathe, something different to do. But I keep trying to push myself to something different extra. I mean the clock was something totally different. Uh, this goblet, I mean obviously if you watch my last goblet, I mean it had a little little mini base. Uh, it was just down to the wood, just suddenly chipping away, uh, but all the tears and everything. But that went a real treat. And hopefully the next pro main project that I do. Uh, I've still got at least two nights gluing up, if not three nights, uh, before I finally get the blanks that I want to, to put on the lathe. So whether I do that towards the end of the week or next weekend, I don't know yet. But it will be again. It will be another step 
pushing myself that much much further so like I say if you're new please do subscribe most appreciated my existing subscribers I know they're not got very many at the moment I mean there's 25 but it's really really appreciated 25 I mean people who want to follow me it's just absolutely amazing really really do appreciate it and I appreciate it if you hit the like button share the video and certainly please do leave comments because I'm still learning an awful lot I'm getting catchers and it's still watching from other videos that I'm learning an awful lot so thank you very much for watching I haven't sorted out actually what what videos I've done today so I honestly don't know what's going to be included in there might be something on the mushroom and obviously a fair bit on the goblet but having said that when I went to part this off I did notice that the video had become full so and in actual fact I did actually fact fully part it off with the parting tool so there was no saws or anything like that involved and so so far I'm being quite probably quite lucky pushing myself a bit too much maybe so again thank you very much please do subscribe and thanks for watching Everything I touch will break And every day, every day, every day you give and I take I'm living the best that I can But fate never followed my plans I'm holding you back so I want you to pack up and grow
streetcar in Tacoma on a Sunday in July You're kicking off your sandals as you stare up at the sky I look at you and fumble for the perfect thing to say But my nerves get in the way I've cherished you for ages But my words were locked in cages So afraid that you just saw me as a friend Now I wanna set them free My fingers clench into the key But I am frozen once again Oh, mystery I'm so afraid of what could be If the door is closed Should I suppose it's locked? Or should I suck it up and knock? With patient eyes and flash a little smile My heart is jumping from my chest and filling up the aisle I've done the calculations and I've studied all the signs And I've read between the lines What if I'm mistaken? What if all of this was taken out of context And I blow it all apart? Would I baffle and confuse? You would I break it all and lose you at the end before we ever got to start? Oh, mystery! I'm so afraid of what could be. If the door is closed, should I suppose it's locked? Or should I suck it up and knock? Many summers in the time so long ago We were kids and nothing mattered In the sunshine on the coast I never would have planned it But the feeling still expanded into more Than just a friend that I adore Oh, the mystery I'm so afraid of what could be If the door is closed Should I suppose it's locked? Should I suck it up and knock? So afraid that you will walk Before my conscience say I have to take a shot Gonna suck it up and... <clears throat>
You take coffee with your cream You squee like a teen And the Hugh Grant stuff you've watched enough You mumble it in your dreams You rock out on a broom And mangle some tunes On weekends you dance in jammy pants Until the afternoon And I know it's hard to think That someone could be in sync with all your eccentricities You're perfect in the perfect way You're perfect and I hope you stay Your goofy little self eternally Oh, I'm weird like you, I know it's true I'm in the clouds up there with you You think you're flawed, but wouldn't you agree? You're perfect for me as well you read ahead on walking dead before you watch the show you eat bread with fur you still call me sir there's a piece of gum from 91 that's hiding in your purse but no matter what i sing i wouldn't change a thing you're my postmodern masterpiece you're perfect in the perfect way You're perfect and I hope you stay Your goofy little self eternally oh. I'm weird like you, I know it's true I'm in the clouds up there with you You think you're flawed, but wouldn't you agree? You're perfect for me Collide in the night 